Hey guys, so I'm staying at this incredible property out here in the Texas Hill Country, one of the most amazing places I've been to yet. Yesterday, I got to feed three massive longhorns, and I got to stay at this pretty cool tiny house behind me, so let's go check it out. Hey guys, welcome to Twisted Horns Ridge, a 72 acre family ranch out here in the beautiful Texas Hill Country. We're only about an hour west of San Antonio and about a little over two hours from Austin. So given that it's so close to these major cities, I think it's a perfect weekend getaway. So the biggest draw for me to come to Twisted Horns Ridge is the amount of animals that they have here. So they have about 40 goats, they have tons of black buck antelope, they have all kinds of birds that you can imagine, including about six hummingbirds that have been flying around me this whole time <laughs> trying to prevent me from filming this. And they have three massive longhorns. But one thing that does rival being able to interact with those animals is the incredible outdoor setup that they have here at the Patio Casita. So when you pull up into the Patio Casita, the first thing you'll notice is that each of these little tiny homes, each of these little properties has their own little private fenced in area, which is entirely for you during your stay here. I think this little spot that the patio casita is on probably measures about 70 to 75 feet in width and probably about 50 feet in length. So you have quite a bit of space and everything is very well spaced out and very well laid out. So the very first thing you'll notice on the left hand side is the little soaking pool, which is just a stock tank pool. It's a great place to just jump in, soak. It does sit directly in the sun, but if you want, there is some shade so you can stay cooled off. Right next to it is the bathroom. So what's really cool about the patio casita is that it's actually split up into two different buildings. We have the bathroom, which measures about 63 square feet. In there, we have a flushing toilet, a vanity, a full tile shower. It's plenty of space in there. It's totally private for you, for your stay here. And then the main house, the main living area, features the sleeping area, the kitchen, a little dining area, and that measures about 171 square feet, giving us a total livable square footage of 234 square feet. Now in the far left corner of the property is probably my favorite thing of this entire patio casita, and it is the outdoor shower. So we have dual rain showers so that two people can shower, and on the right hand side, we have a soaking tub, which is super cool. I went out and took a shower last night. It was a perfect temperature just as the sun was coming down. Apparently, it's also a great place to take a shower under the stars. Unfortunately, the moon was out last night, so it was a little bit too bright for that. But if you guys come when there is not a full moon and you have a little bit more darkness out here, then you might get some great visibility for the stars out at night. If you keep walking back out this way towards the house, you'll see quite a bit of patio furniture laid out there's some patio chairs there's also a big hammock and that'll bring you up to the patio that wraps around the patio casita we've quite a bit of furniture out here great for lounging we have a little outdoor table with some shade I went and ate breakfast out there this morning then we have some rocking chairs next to a propane fire pit which you can turn on at night and then we have the blackstone out here for you guys to do some grilling outside if you'd prefer to just cook outside instead of cooking inside I would would highly recommend it. I went out there and made some breakfast this morning. And then last but not least out here on the patio, we have the hot tub on the right hand side. So the hot tub is also available for your use during your stay. They have the control panel located in the back, which you can turn on the jets and get everything going. You just have to remove the cover and then turn everything on and you're good to go. I highly recommend taking a dip at night once the sun has come down and it has cooled down a little bit. And even more so, if you have some beers or you have a bottle of wine, it's a great great place to just hang out. But without further ado, let's show you the inside. Welcome to the inside of the Patio Casita. This is one of six different rentals that they have here at Twisted Horns Ridge, and one of four of their smaller spaces or smaller tiny homes for rent. But inside this main living space, we have one of the nicest and coziest setups that I've seen yet. So 
let's just get right into the tour. So the patio casita has tons of windows and doors that wrap around the side and the front of the house. Thanks to the way that the house is positioned, we have tons of natural light flowing into the house, but because we do have a covered patio, that does block all the direct sunlight that would be coming in. And so what we get is a lot of indirect sunlight, a lot of indirect natural light coming in, brightening up this space at all hours of the day. So when you walk in, there is a set of full light double doors that open up into the sleeping area. So the sleeping area is directly in front of the entrance. So we have a nice comfy queen size bed directly in front of us with two bedside tables. Beside the bed, we have a cute lounging chair with a little ottoman. I personally used it to read and just to hang out there. And then on the left side of the home, we have the kitchen. So the kitchen is fairly large for this size of space, giving you tons of countertop space to prep meals, to cook. Although they don't have a stove or an oven here in this kitchen, they do have a single burner cooktop that you can plug in directly on the counter. I used that last night to make some pasta and it was definitely more than enough for what I needed. But they do have the Blackstone outside that you can use to grill at any time of the day. I used it this morning to make some breakfast out there and honestly, I really, really loved it. So, let's see what I made. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be on a cooking show. <laughs> Get a camera pointing at you, watching every single one of your moves. I feel like I've never been so self-conscious about how I make breakfast. <laughs> to be fair, I never, never really use a Blackstone. This is super cool. The biggest thing that I dislike about living in a small space is that your kitchen is essentially your living room, is essentially your bedroom. So when you cook, especially really fragrant things, like forget about garlic, forget about seafood, things like that. The entire house smells like it for a solid like 24 to 48 hours. So bringing your cooking outside of your tiny house is the biggest hack that I can give anyone considering living tiny or even staying in a tiny house for a weekend. Doing your cooking outside is, <laughs> my stuff's burning. <laughs> doing, doing your cooking outside is the biggest hack that I can give you guys to just have a, a more pleasant experience. So back to the kitchen, we have an apartment sized fridge, which should be more than enough for any length stay that you guys will have here. We have these beautiful butcher block countertops, which again, give you plenty of space to prepare meals, to put the hot plate on there and make any sort of one pot or single pan meals. We have a small microwave, we have a coffee pot. We have a fairly large sink on the left hand side, tons of cabinet space underneath, and we have open shelving up above with all of your plates, all of your mugs, all of your cups, wine glasses, whatever you guys should need to cook or to enjoy your meals, you should have more than enough here. And then last but not least, we have this little dining table here for two people. I love that it is positioned on this side of the house next to the windows. It's a great place to just hang out and look out outside at all the birds just flying around, enjoying your breakfast, enjoying some coffee there. And then lastly, my favorite part of the inside of the patio casita is actually this pine tongue and groove ceiling. It's just beautiful, beautiful. It really ties in all of the trim around the house, ties in well with the butcher block countertops, with the open shelving. It just ties in everything together and provides a great contrast with sort of lighter color walls. So that is it guys, that is the tour of the Patio Casita out here at Twisted Horns Ridge. Fortunately, I'm gonna be out here for a couple more days. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be staying at the Hill Country Tiny Home, so I'm gonna be filming a full tour of that house as well, so stay tuned for full tours of a couple more houses here. I will go ahead and leave the Airbnb links to the Patio Casita in the description below so you guys can check it out and see if there's any availability in the coming weeks, coming months to come out here. I highly recommend it, seriously. I had so much fun visiting Twisted Horns Ridge being able to go and see all the animals, all the goats, all the antelope, feeding the longhorns. It's such, such an incredible experience being out here and I, I could not recommend it enough. So, and lastly, if you guys enjoyed this tour of the Patio Casita, I would be super, super grateful if you guys left this video a thumbs up and considered subscribing so that we can connect with more people that would be interested in these tiny home tours. So with that, I will leave you but stay tuned because next week we're gonna be visiting another tiny house here at Twisted Horns Ridge and I will see you in the next one.